Hello everyone, thanks for taking the time to check out our video. Uh, we're super excited here at SiteBuilds to be announcing the release of a project we've been working on for the past few months, our Silo Creator. So what you'll be able to do is basically build your website, your WordPress websites the same as you normally would using the SiteBuilds software, but you can also add a silo structure to that site, enabling Google and users to better navigate your website and basically get you rankings with literally 90% less backlinks than you normally would with a site that didn't have this type of structure. And uh, we also created a couple guides to go with this as well. We have an instructional guide that will show you every step along the way to, uh, to building your silo and integrating it with your website. And we also have an uh, informational guide which is going to explain what a silo is and uh, really get into the, the details of, of how it works and, and why it works. In fact, until this release, creating a WordPress website with silo architecture was not an easy task. Simply because by default, WordPress displays irrelevant site-wide links that bleed your valuable link juice. So in order to make WordPress silo friendly, you needed a custom plugin, a custom theme, and some technical know-how. But not to worry, we've changed all that and made it super simple. So WordPress websites with proper silo structure, so simple that anyone can do it. Now to start using the silo creator, we're going to have to have a website domain already in the system or we'll have to create a subdomain. So if you already have a domain in the system, you're a current user and you've done your research and have a, a theme already applied, then you're, you're all set and ready to go. Now if not, if you're one of the free members that come in and, and took the free option on the sales page, you'll want to create your free subdomain. We're going to do this from the dashboard by clicking on the domain manager. Now in this section, we're going to click on the add your domain tab. And here you'll see create subdomain. So we'll click on that. So what we're doing here is we're going to create a subdomain based on the extrapages.com that, uh, that we've incorporated into SiteBuild. So all your subdomains will be yourname.extrapages.com. So we'll select a project from the drop-down menu. I have one previously created here, Silo Example. And we'll name our website, Silo Example. Call it 1. And click Submit. Now the software is creating that subdomain for us, so we can uh, then go ahead after this here and we'll apply a theme, a WordPress installation to the site. Okay, here we go. Subdomain created successfully. So now we'll go back to the website builder. Now all these links on the side are the same that's on the dashboard. It's just a quicker way to get around instead of going back to the dashboard. We'll click on website builder. We'll select the project that we're working on, silo example. Click to proceed. And here's our subdomain we just created, siloexample1.extrapages.com. Now we want to apply a theme in a WordPress installation, so we'll just come over here to this little icon here. It says apply a theme for domain. We'll click on that. Now we want to install uh, the theme as well as a WordPress installation, so we'll make sure we highlight that. Now if you had a theme that you were using on your own that wasn't a site builds theme, you could use the first option and just have a WordPress installation created, and then you could go ahead and log into that WordPress and, uh, and carry on from there with your theme. So we're going to go with the site builds theme in WordPress. We'll click Submit. And OK. Now here we have all the themes that uh, are available within the site build software. We have pages of them here. So I'm going to uh, go up here and I'm going to select just the affiliate themes. And we'll try, we'll try this one here. Yes, we'd like to apply the theme. So now in this 30 second countdown, what the software is doing is creating your hosting account it's installing a WordPress installation on your on your uh, subdomain and then it's also taking it and applying the th selected theme that we just selected a few moments ago so after the countdown usually gets around about 10 seconds or so we'll receive our success page now on this page we have all of our login details so we can go and uh, and and set our admin email to uh, to an email that we that we have access to and we normally use you'll see these two important notices up here so basically our site is uh, up and ready to go and uh, we can head on over and check out the silo creator so see the tab up here on the far right now here in the silo creator is where we actually get started making the actual structure to your website so a silo is important for one of two reasons one, so that your websites will be optimally structured so that when crawled by Google and other top search engines, they will instantly know what your website's about. Now, in addition, all inbound links are strategically designed to direct link juice flow to the main keyword or topic you're trying to rank for. 
All links are kept completely relevant to their topic with no link bleeding. This results in a faster indexing and higher rankings with 90% less backlinks. And secondly, your site's visitors will love the ease of navigation. While we keep everything tightly relevant, more pages are viewed and visitors stay longer. This results in drastically reducing your website's bounce rate. So a couple very important things to notice when we first get to the Solid Creator are these two buttons right here. We have the Save and Post button and we also have a Save Only button. So at this point if we had just done our research and we don't have our, uh, we don't have our domain live or our theme up, up and ready to go yet, we'd want to come in here and just create the silo. We can click the Save Only button so that, uh, that will save the silo and then we can implement it later and add it to the website once it's live. Or if we're at the point where we have our, our theme up and up and live and ready to go, then we can hit the save and post button once we're ready, and uh, it'll actually go ahead and apply the apply the structure to the website. So if you look up here, we have the select domain section. So this is a drop down list of the websites that you have available. So in a project, you can have multiple websites. So we just want to make sure we have the the proper one selected. Then over here on the right hand side, we can create a new silo if we wish or we can select one that we've previously created throughout any of our other projects. So once you start building a bunch of different silos, you'll see them appearing in this drop down. And if you uh, find that you want to use one again, then you can uh, you can select it from there. Here you'll see I have uh, just for an example, I have a topic 1, topic 2 and topic 3. Now this is just a, a simple drag and drop uh, structure setup. So anything that we find over here that we want to add to our structure, we'd simply drag it to the right and and put it in the appropriate place. So we take a look here to the left hand side we see that the my keyword tab now in this section <coughs> what we're going to see here are the primary and secondary keywords that I've selected for this project while I was doing my research so uh, if you are a member and you have the uh, the research package so any research you've done in, in that section you can add your primary and secondaries and it'll all show up here uh, also if you're looking for any extra keywords and uh, you just want to do some quick research while you're in here you can enter a keyword in the search at the top, I'll just put in dog training and click get results. And those results will show up here under the niche keyword tab and related keyword tab. So if you look over here on the right hand side, you'll notice that I have the topics 1, 2, and 3. Now this is just simply the silo example that I created previously. Um, so this represents the main navigation of your website. So what we're looking at here, if I just went ahead and posted this as with the three main topics and no subcategories, I'd be building a, th a three-level silo. So you'd simply just want to correct, uh, go to the top here and select the uh, delete existing menu, which is going to get rid of the default menu that's already on your theme. We're going to add a home page. I'm going to title the home page. I'm just going to call it home. And here's where we select to show the top navigation or to hide the main menu. So I'm going to select to show it. And I'm also going to select to have that show in an inline menu rather than a drop down menu. And now that our site is there, we can go ahead. I'll show you the, the theme prior to uh, the change. This is the default theme that's installed. All these posts and, uh, and add images are just uh, placeholders for you to change. So we'll go back and we'll select. Uh, to save and post. We have the proper website selected, the silos in place. So now we can go to the website, refresh the page. And here we go. We have our home link as well as our topic one, topic two, and topic three. So any supporting content that we'd add to our website, we can come in, we can assign it to either either topic which it's related to. So not only are we building a structure that Google's going to love, we're building a structure that your users are going to find very useful in, in finding what they're looking for on your website and easily navigating the, throughout the many pages and topics as your website grows. So let's go back to the software. Now if I wanted to create a four-level silo, so say if I had a, a subtopic that would go underneath topic one, I'd just simply drag it from the left-hand side over and we can, oops, there we go, drag it down and we'll drag it right underneath topic one. So I'm just going to post that so I can show you as well. well uh, same action as before, we'll delete the existing menu, we'll add a home menu link as well, title that home, we want that to show inline menu, and we'll just go ahead and save and post. We'll come back here and we'll refresh our page. So then if I go under topic one, 
we would see in our top navigation that our subcategories will be showing here. So once we add uh, once we add some articles and some actual posts to this website, you'll see how everything flows together. We have some examples to show you as well. Those can be found uh, linked through to our sales page, and uh, I'll bring one up here and show you some as well. Here, this here would be one for a four-level silo. So uh, I guess this one here is set up to be selling model car kits. So if you were to go into the Chevy models, you would receive your subcategories would appear at the top. So you could just come in and click on any of these subcategories and add content to those as well. So as with any silo, one of the most important aspects is keeping everything relevant. So this is where site builds themes really shine as they're designed to intuitively keep all content related to the silo within the silo. So if we take a look at the sidebar of the website here, we scroll down, you'll see that everything is based Chevy. That's that's the silo we're in. We're in the Chevy model silo. You're not going to see anything related to any other any of the other uh, main topics. It's all within this topic. Even the content itself, we'll click on here and we'll go look at some of the written content. You look at the page has the content at the bottom. It links to another post that's within that silo. Nothing bleeds out. There's, there's no link juice going anywhere else but up to the main page which is exactly where we're trying to rank. Now as you've just seen, creating properly siloed WordPress websites is no longer difficult, technical, or time consuming and all you need to do is add your own great content. So visit SiteBills.com website and try out the silo creator for yourself absolutely free there's no cost to get started